everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. This one was requested quite a bit. It was requested by SmackVersRaw08, Bogster09, WrightZZ, and 1597563. All of them want to know how to create a custom wallpaper for your desktop, uh, sort of like this one that I created here for myself. Um, the way I'm going to show you is a great way because it fits your screen perfectly. You can totally customize the design to fit whatever you want. Um, you can use whatever colors you want, whatever design you want, whatever font you want, whatever. And uh, the best part is they're very high resolution. So anyways, uh, let's get started. So here's Photoshop. What we're going to do is go to File, New, and uh, create a new document. I'm just going to call this one Wallpaper. Uh, have the width at whatever your screen resolution is. So you need to know what your screen resolution is. Uh, don't worry if you don't know what it is yet. Uh, it's really easy to find out. All you gotta do is go down here to start, hit control panel, here where it says appearance and personalization we're gonna hit adjust screen resolution, then right here it will display your screen resolution. Mine is 1280 by 960 pixels so that's what my screen resolution is. I can now work with that in Photoshop. So I can hit OK and exit out of this. And OK so now let's uh, enter my screen resolution. So the width will be 1280 and the height will be 960 and make sure that's in pixels it might be at inches centimeters millimeters or whatever we're gonna just have it at pixels and here's the equally important part um, resolution we're gonna set this to 4000 whoops um, so set it to 4000 that's as high as it will go I already tried um, so if you put it to a 1 million it won't make a difference just set it to 4000 and then that will ensure we get the best quality so then uh, we can just hit OK now and here is our new canvas. So I'm actually just going to make this a bit smaller so that you guys can see everything. Alright, so now the next step is to uh, basically just personalize it and add designs and effects and stuff to make it look cool and to make it uh, appeal to you and stuff. So uh, you can do totally whatever you want. The way I'm going to show you is just like an example just to, to get you inspired or something. So what I'm going to do is go to my paint bucket tool. Uh, if you don't see it, it'll be covered by your gradient tool. Now to get your paint bucket tool, all you gotta do is right click on the gradient tool and hit paint bucket tool. And that will switch between tools and that goes for any uh, single tool in the tools palette. So uh, if you don't see your paint bucket tool, it's because it's covered by your gradient tool. All you gotta do is right click the gradient tool, hit paint bucket tool. So uh, now let's uh, pick a foreground color. Uh, I'm just gonna go with black. And now all I gotta do is click on my white canvas and boom it turns black. So now let's add a little more advanced designs. I'm gonna go to my brush tool or you can hit B on your keyboard to get you right there. Now let's pick a foreground color. Um, let's go over here, change our colors, I'm gonna go to a hot pink. Okay and uh, now let's go back to our brush tool and uh, let's choose a brush. Now um, this is where you can get creative. Uh, whatever brush you want to use it's fine. Um, I have tons of brushes so I don't have a uh, small selection or anything but um basically you're just gonna have you're gonna want to have some good customized brushes installed on your computer and uh then you're gonna want to use them for your document now um you can use whatever brushes you want i got this uh one called dreamwood that i'm using right now i'm actually gonna change this to blood cells i guess okay anyways let's just say that you like your final design, you've added your brushes, you've added everything, now it's time to add some text. And you don't have to add text if you want either. Again, this is just for example. And I've said this a million times, but you can do everything the way you want to do. This is totally example. I'm not telling you to make it this way, but uh, you can do whatever you want. So I'm in my text tool. I'm just going to put the word Techtopia because that is my YouTube account. And it's very small right now, so I'm going to make it bigger. To uh, enlarge your text, make sure you're selected on your text layer hit control and T on your keyboard that will pop up our transformation controls now we can uh, drag around these points or nodes as they're actually called and uh, just resize it so there we go now uh, I can just go back to my move tool and hit apply so there we got our text now this font is actually called doom so you don't need to ask me that uh, just go to thefont.com and search doom and you'll get this font so anyways uh, that's about my font now let's add some layer styles to our text to uh, give it a bit more design and a bit more depth and just make it look better. 
So again, make sure you select it on your text layer. We're gonna go up here to layer, layer style, and let's go with the bevel and emboss. And uh, I'm actually gonna pop this depth up to 300, and it gives it a nice 3D look. It makes it look uh, a lot deeper, have more shape and form to it, and it just generally looks better. I'm gonna do the same thing now. Go to layer, layer style, but this time I'm gonna go to gradient overlay. Now uh, here is our gradient editor, or our gradient dialog box, or whatever you want to call it. Now I'm not going to do too many modifications, but these are the ones I'm going to do. See here where it says style, linear, I'm actually going to change this to reflected. And here where it says reverse, I'm going to have that checked. And then I'm going to pop this scale to 150%. Now if we hit OK, it gives us a nice a gradient on our text and it just looks good. So we are basically done our wallpaper now. But again, you can use whatever colors you want, whatever font you want, whatever effects you want, whatever design you want. It's all up to you, so you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying that this is what I'm going to use for my example. I actually don't even like this design, but uh, this is just a tutorial for YouTube. I'm not going too into detail. This is just a small example. So let's say we're done and we're happy and we want it to go on our desktop now. It's really easy to do. All we got to do is go to File, Save As call it whatever you want. Now here where it says format, this is important. It'll be at Photoshop by default. We're gonna click and drag, or sorry, we're gonna click this drop down thing. Here's our list and we're gonna change this to PNG. Then we can save it and hit OK. We can now open up our image by going to the location where we saved it. Open it up, here it is. Now all we gotta do to set it as our desktop background is right click it, hit set as desktop background. Then uh, it'll look all messed up once you click your mouse, but it won't actually turn out that way. And if we exit out of this, exit out, and exit out of Photoshop, we now have a nice wallpaper, very high resolution, fits our screen, looks good, um, and it's totally persona personal personalizable. I don't know if that's a word, but it's totally customizable, that's a better word. Uh, you can do whatever you want to it, change all the colors if you want use whatever effects and designs you want it's all up to you so anyways thanks for watching this tutorial subscribe rate and comment the video that'd be great anyways thanks for watching see you guys later